Hi guys, welcome to a new quick tutorial. Today, let's see how to bind your speedo with your radio. It was Black Friday. You bought a new radio, a new receiver, a new speedo. You're gonna need to bind all this together. It will be about the same method for any speedo on the market. Let's see today how to process. You're just gonna need your radio, your car ready to go with the batteries, and of course the receiver to be already bind with the radio. We're gonna see that in a new tutorial. To start, make sure that all the soldering is done properly. A on A, B on B, C on C, and plus and minus are on the right position. Today we have the connect plugs that I recommend. It will avoid to plug your battery reverse and maybe kill your speedo at the same time. So just to make sure that you're not gonna plug it reverse and all the soldering is done the right way. So we start with the radio. We're gonna go in the menu, make sure that all the EPAs, the endpoints are at 100% on the throttle and the trims also. So we go in the menu. This is my M17, but it's pretty much the same for every radio. Settings and then base. This is ST for steering, so we go TH for throttle, EPA throttle 100, EPA brake 100, so we are ready to bind. Now with the car, we're just gonna need to use the switch. This is a hobby wing version, so we have the small setting button and the big button. For some other speedos, there is only one on off button on the speedo or outside. In these conditions, you're just gonna need to hold this on off button like I do with the small one after. So my radio is on. I will hold the small button while I turn on the speedo. The speedo is gonna make some bips and I can let go the setup button. So I hold it, turn it on. The speedo is beeping, is ready to bind. I leave the trigger on neutral press it once, then go full throttle, press it another time, and then I go full brake, and then I press it another time. The speedo blinked, it went green, so now we are ready and it works. Last thing really important, if you plug a programmer on your speedo to change the turbo, the timings, any parameter you're gonna change on your speedo, it's advised to rebind your speedo after that. So anytime you change a parameter in your speedo, make sure that you go back to your radio settings, put the EPA back to 100%, rebind your speedo, and then go back to the EPA you were using before. It's really important, but every single time you bind your speedo, make sure that those parameters are right. See you next time for a new tutorial. Bye-bye.